Ooh. Oh, some young people interested Ooh. in genetic engineering, yes, huh? I am. Wonderful. Please come in. Oh, hello. Oh, there's more. Hello, sir. My, my, there's a lot of you. Timmy! Well, I'm so pleased that you children are interested in genetic engineering. Genetic science began as a simple question. Can a monkey be made to have four asses instead of one? The answer was yes. And now we've been able to give more asses to pigs, horses, everything you can imagine. Yes, little boy. How did that help? Oh, you're one of the cynics, huh? Well, meet me over here for the tour and I'll show you how. Come on, don't be shy. We don't want to miss the four-assed gorilla feeding. Please have a seat. You ever play that video game Half-Life? Okay, here we go. Here you can see our greenhouse. Genetic engineering is helpful to grow larger tomatoes, onions, cucumbers. Fruits and vegetables with more asses means more nutrition for people all around the planet. What good does that do? Oh, you Bible thumpers are all alike. Don't play God, you'll pay for it. <laughs> Let's continue up to the second level, shall we? Another benefit of genetic science, of course, is combining animals. Like these donkey apes, bunny fish, squirrel donkeys, and more. Once we put more asses on these, we will truly be benefiting science. Will you please explain how that benefits science at all? What's your name, little boy? Super Craig. You see, Super Craig, once we know how to do things to animals, we can hopefully apply them to mankind. You think having more asses is impossible? I tell you it's not. You see, genetic engineering is not just for animals and veggies. We are working towards helping people as well. Here you can see genetic mutations of my dead son. Most people don't remember that I once had a young child named Terrence. Oh yeah, I remember that kid. I was wondering what ever happened to him. Terrence was killed tragically in town when some kids were playing around with a relic belonging to Barbara Streisand. Oh, jeez, I think that was us. So, you're doing this all as a way to bring back your dead son? Bring him back? Well, of course not. I'm trying to give his dead body more asses so he can finally rest in peace. Now let's continue on to the fourth floor. Oh, fuck. Well, here we are. The top floor of the building and the end of our tour. What are these? These horrible, monstrous mistakes of science. Our new benefactor has asked that we genetically alter some of the local sixth graders and make them stronger and crazier. Okay, okay. Why the fuck would you do that? How do you mean? Why the fuck? Would you make genetically enhanced sixth graders? Calm down, Super Craig. How do you think we pay for all this? We have financial donors. Our latest benefactor has asked for this army of mutated sixth graders to protect his altered cats. What altered cats? Oh, right over this way. A wealthy benefactor named Mr. Connor has donated money to have stray cats enhanced with more asses. Our company can add asses to things at very competitive rates. The problem is that cats seem to become really aggressive when given more asses. They've proven to be quite deadly. Then why would you bring a bunch of kids up here? Look, there's nothing to worry about. This entire facility has a very complex security grid. Huh, that's never happened before. Oh shit, someone shut down the security grid. What do you mean? <laughs> Hello, Freedom Pals. What are you doing, fat ass? So, you figured out my little plan, huh, Freedom Pal? Think you can stop me? Oh, I have someone here who'd like to say hello, new kid. Go on top. Guys? Guys, it's me, the kid. Will you knock it off? Listen to me. Don't make any deals with this piece of garbage. He's an animal. Ah! That's enough out of you, kid. You've been a real pain in my ass, new kid. You should have known not to mess with Mitch Connor. Where the fuck are you? Mr. Connor, if you shut down the security grid, then everyone in this building is going to die. What? Sorry, Doc. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good of the city. So long, Freedom Pal. Combat mode engaged. I'm sorry, kids, but we're probably all going to die. Watch out for their claws and butts. Oh, God, is it my turn? How about this? Adjusting. 
Maintaining tougher climate control. Amazing. We may actually survive. We've got a cat on an attack vector. Damn, Mysterion, it's like you actually trained for this shit or something. Good for you. I know one of these buttons opens the door. Oh, I think this is it. Oh, no, I just let more cats out. Well done, but I'm afraid you're still hopelessly outassed. I feel I should mention that my test subjects have a crazed hunger for human flesh. Might have something to do with the ass adding process. I will remember. Take a scientific approach to solve this one. Oop, now I've done it. Time for the Tupperware party! Take this! <laughs> We're so close, I can feel it. We're so close, I can feel it. Taking you out! Get me down! Single asses beat their many asses. It just doesn't add up. My poor creatures. We must escape the lab. Maybe. Maybe we can go through some of the larger exhibits. This way, children. No. Maybe if I just press buttons random. Mutant sixth graders are on the loose. This was definitely not supposed to happen. Uh, school's so dumb. Parents are dumb. Yeah, adults are stupid. Oh, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. It's okay. We'll be safe in the tour tram. Oh, the tour tram is offline. Somebody's gonna have to get to the CPU and hit the override switch. Where's the CPU? Down on the third level. Oh, it was silly to put it there, wasn't it? So somebody has to walk down to the third level and flip the switch? One, two, three, not it, not it, not, not it, not it, not it. Nah. <laughs> not it. Sorry, new kid, but it really should be you anyway. Yeah, if you think about it, this is all kind of your fault.
Well, I really wouldn't say it's my fault. I'm saying it's more you guys' fault. Uh, but okay. Hi, school is dumb. Ah, sixth grader. that portal door but to open the door you're gonna need power the whole point of stairs is not to need electricity get that generator powered up and the access to the stairs will open Okay, you should be coming to my dead son now. Just keep heading west. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the little forty. Come here, dork. Hey, Jasper, get over here, dude. There's a picture of some boobs, man. Boobs? I want to see some boobs. Where?
You better move that ass. Get the fourthy. Okay, let's kick some asses. Oh god, they're too ah! If nothing else, beating on you guys is really therapeutic for me. Come here, twerp. Here comes Wonder Tweak. Who wants a popsicle? That ought to put down. stuff right now and needing to punch you with one of them. Forthies die! Prepare to meet your end. Vector calculations complete. Attack sequence engaged. Copper tornado warning. Ah, God, I hate these Forthies so bad! <sighs> Stupid little fourthies. I'm gonna flush you, Forthies. You won't see me coming. than school and parents combined. My time.
That's it. He's cleared the way. The CPU should be right through that door, kid. We'll come down and join you. New kid, thank God. You've got to stop him. He's out of his mind. Cartman, you fucking asshole. What are you doing? Connor brought me here, human cat. The sick son of a bitch. Uh, you shut up, Coon. Soon this town will be rid of you and all the Coon friends. We're freedom pals, fat ass. We know what you're doing, Eric. Putting cat urine into people's drugs and alcohol to make them crazy. We want to know why. Yeah, why, you sick piece of... Uh, do I really have to spell it out, Coon? This city is sick. We both know it. There's only one time of year when this town is the way it should be. On Christmas. So I join the Chamber of Commerce and use them to unleash my master plan. Escalate crime in the city, blame crime on mayor, run for mayor, get tons of followers, clone new kid into genetic mutant, win election, make everyday Christmas. What do you think? Pretty sweet plan, right? Dude, quick! Take us... <laughs> it's almost a shame that no one will ever know how perfectly my plan worked. Dude, you've gone too far this time. Nobody's gonna let you be mayor. Oh, no? I've got all the new kids' followers. Every last one of them is now following me. Gee, that was smart. Eric, I know that Christmas every day sounds like fun, but it really wouldn't be. Fuck you, Dr. Timothy. If you guys don't mind, I've got an election to win. <laughs> God damn it! Well, there goes the main CPU. Darn it, why did I put that thing on a mobilized trap door? Why wouldn't you? I'm afraid now someone will have to go clear to the ground level and call for the tour tram from there. All right, fine. Hurry up, new kid. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, new kid. Stop wasting time. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll leave you up for that. Like and subscribe for more. I think I'm gonna have to get back.